and this day we were going to test fly the improved dual thrust configuration. The boost nozzle is 22mm and the sustain nozzle is 5mm. Here we're attaching the dual thrust release head before locking it into our normal launcher. First flight went ok, with a nice long sustain. The second flight didn't quite go according to plan and for some reason that we're still looking into the sustained chamber didn't fully pressurize. This caused the rocket to reach only about 100 feet before heading back. With the timer set for 5 seconds, there wasn't enough time for the parachute to fully inflate before ground impact. Only minor damage was done to the rocket, which will be easily repaired. flight we were going to continue to test the roll correction but even before liftoff the top bottle blew out its bottom at only 110 psi. This was a very unusual failure as normally these bottles will split on the side at around 190 psi. Again, only minimal damage was done to the rocket, so we replaced the nose cone and set the rocket up again for another attempt. One, go. This time the onboard video showed the results getting better, but there is still some spin left. We'll continue with the trim procedure next time. 